www.islamicwaves.com. But uh, isn't it amazing that, uh, you know, this verse, uh, the translation of the verse begins uh, with the word glory, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, you know, or is totally helpless and, you know, doesn't require any, any help from anybody else. And uh, he just says, cool, and it happens. True. So why still people do not believe that it can happen? Actually, uh, looking at the miracles, this is one of the miracles. There's many other miracles that took place. And that was just in order to uh, make the people believe that this is something and this Prophet has been descended and blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reveal the reality, the, to reveal the truth that was the main objective and that is why such events supplement the claim of the Prophet like in different eras, different Prophets have been awarded with different miracles Quran is one of the miracles of the Prophet Shaq al-Qamar, when the moon was split apart into two portions, that was another miracle. There are many, several, many uh, miracles. One of the famous is, again, the Miraj, the, the journey of the Prophet ﷺ to the heavens. That is one of the miracles. And it was there for the believers to believe and to distinguish between the believers and the non-believers. That this e event, in reality, took place. And that was the reason to throw an examination, to throw a question upon the people, to let them know that who believes upon the Prophet and who disbelieves, who disapproves, so that can be distinguished. So what actually happened in that light, if you can elaborate? Uh, it actually, I would elaborate the event as well, and I would try to discuss out the significance and the importance and the lessons that should be learned out of this event. Uh, it happened that when the Prophet wasallam was asleep at uh, the place of Hazrat Umehani and it was so that the roof of the house was split apart and the angels descended and they took the Prophet wasallam, woke him up and took him to Masjid al-Haram and it was in front of the Hatim when Hazrat Jibreel he came and he ordered uh, that has the Prophet's chest was operated and it had been I believe three times in his life that yes shakul sadr means that the the chest was set apart and the heart was washed and purified it uh, happened thrice in the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa one when he was in his childhood when he was uh, uh, with his nursing mother Hazrat Halima radiallahu ta'ala and then it took place angels came and the Prophet was there in the jungle and his chest was set apart and uh, teared apart and the heart was taken out it was washed with zamzam it was, it was filled with nur and enlightenment of iman and faith and belief in order to complete the personality of the Prophet before prophecy was ordained right secondly it was at the time of the awarding of prophecy prophecy to the Prophet then it took place and this was the third event at, before the Miraj when he was being taken to the heavens actually the the characteristic of the Prophet the uh, the personality of the Prophet was complete in all sense but here just to show the importance that there was a meeting to be held with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in person in order to show that significance in order to uh, enrich that event he was again processed he was undertaking that process his chest was torn apart his heart was taken out again in the hadith it is very clearly said that there was a plate of gold and gold is one of the purest and mo most of the expensive metals available so again to show the significance as this was something spiritual that his heart was taken and this is a very good point that you have just mentioned that it is mentioned in the Adis so the people who have this belief that it happened only spiritually or uh, some of the other people are with this belief that uh, he only dreamt about uh, going mm -hmm. to the Miraj so it shows that no it was not no, a dream uh, they, and it they, was not something spiritual but a spiritual plus the physical structure of Huzur that is, that is the, uh, the majority of the people the majority of the Sahaba and the scholars are on that side 
that they support that this took place spiritually as well as physically. So I was explaining that when his heart was torn up, then uh, chest was torn apart, his heart was taken out and it's washed with zamzam in order to purify. And then it was filled with another plate of filled with enlightenment and nur of belief that was uh, blessed upon the heart and the heart was put back into the chest and sealed. Uh, you can well imagine that today in this modern technology if someone undergoes an open heart surgery what are the precautions that usually are taken care of but if you look at that event the Prophet himself witnessed that his heart was taken away from his body it was washed in a plate it was filled with Iman and Noor it wasn't that his heart was uh, empty or it was uh, not filled up or it was not up to that level no just to show the www.islamicwaves.com